that, you know, uh, um, I want to, I want to throw something in there real quick. You know, we have all the conspiracy theories and that the Republicans were going to do this, they're going to do that. I mean, I I, I fed into it and I bought into that too. That yeah, they're going to try to steal it. There's no way they're going to let a black man in. I had a caller on my show about two weeks ago, and he made a real interesting point. It was like, for them to do it this time, 2008 with Barack, they would have to be pretty damn good because. It, it, it's one thing to do it when you did it in 2000, 2004. It's like if you did it in 2000, no one saw it coming. 2004, we just wouldn't believe they'd try to pull that again. But it's right. like it's so closely guarded this time. And then you have yeah, such a smart know. candidate in Barack Obama and his, his uh, campaign that it would be hard to pull the nose over his eyes this time. I'm sure Barack had a team from day one saying, look, if we're going to do this, my main focal point is I want this ran fairly and I want a fair shot at winning this. So, I, so mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they have a chance to uh, pull that this time. Not a chance to have. I mean, I mean they, might not, they might not have a chance to. I mean, but like, you got to look at like People looking at if Barack Obama become president, it's going to be this great thing for the United States. I mean, me, myself, I don't really feel that way because I feel like, to, like for me, if I worked in the office building with a bunch of white people, I would not go to work. I would actually I'd quit tonight if Barack Obama <laughs> become president. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, the funny thing, the funny thing, we're sitting up here talking about him trying to rig this election. You know the one guarantee that Barack had this election wouldn't be rigged? We did it. We all showed up. We all came out and voted. If you, if you come out in numbers like we did today and blow McCain out the waters right off the rip, there's no way they can fix it. He was killing this man early. You feel me? Yeah, Look, yeah. Let me tell you how tight that Obama's campaign was. Someone came knocking on my door on Sunday evening. I didn't want to open the door because, you know, I'm a single parent and I'm kind of leery when a strange man knocking on my door. But I seen he had an Obama t-shirt on. So I went on ahead and I opened the door and I was like, yeah, what's happening? He said, are you, you know, such and such? And I said, yes, I am. And he was like, okay. And so he said, well, I'd like to, um, you know, let you know where your voting poll is. I said, okay, thank you. I knew where it was. It's at the school. And then he says, okay, well, have you voted yet? I said, no, I haven't, because here in Nevada, we have early voting. So then he says, ma'am, do you need a ride to the polls? <laughs> I hope you said no. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Obama said, look, I'll get you to the polls to vote, okay? He ain't playing. Hold on, but see, like, you know, hey, you, you out there in Nevada, hey, I, I stay right here where they tried to kill him, so ain't nobody come to my door and ask me shit. <laughs> they stayed away from my house, play. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey, right. Are you going to Arkansas? He said no. Right, right. Hey, uh, Brown Sugar. Brown Sugar, PD. Uh, uh, Obama is 50 delegates away. It's 220 to 135. You need 50 more, and that's a wrap. 220. Hey, he needs 50 more, but I'm going to tell you something. He's going to have to damn to get in the boxing ring to get that 50, because I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, when the hey, when the West Coast close they polls, it's gonna look a lot closer than we think. And like, that's why I'm telling people, I'm not getting my hopes up. I did it four years yeah. ago. I went and kissed my mama. I was happy. I kissed my mama. You know, and you gonna see what I'm saying? Hey, if, if Barack Obama went, I'm not gonna be here for a while. Hey, 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 breaking news! Breaking news! Okay, we have a right. new president of the United States. Barack Obama has just been elected president. 297 to 139. It's a wrap, people. <laughs> Over. Hey, 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 give yourself a heart attack if you want to. You give yourself a heart attack if you want to. Hey, I got two hours to live for. I, hey, hey, I'm, I'm glad to see that. But hey, let me tell y'all black people some though. Well, this man, one thing we cannot lose sight of, it's a great night for Barack Obama, but big ups, man, you really got to go back and really just yes, reflect now. You, you got to go back and reflect yes, on the is. blood, sweat, and tears of Dr. King, Malcolm X, the whole civil rights movement, because tonight is really just the embodiment of what those people this laid their beautiful. lives down. This is the final chapter of what Dr. King and that whole civil rights movement laid their life down. You can't get to a higher plateau than this, man. And, and just big ups, good, man. Mm, mm, mm. This is it. You have to. Tell me how you feel, sugar. Don't cry now. Don't cry now. Cry. God, it's so please, don't cry. Please, please don't cry. Don't cry live on the air. Oh, hold it in. Hold it in. Don't. Look, this Brown Sugar Radio. This is up close and personal. I'm real. And I'm real. So I'm about to cry because I'm so happy.
happy right now. He did it, y'all. Thank you, G. He did it. I'm so happy. Oh, wow. I'm so happy. You guys are this crazy. Is this is beautiful. Hey, Oprah crying, too. Shoot, if Oprah, okay. Oprah can cry, baby, oh, no, I can cry my heart out of Okay, we're going to do 832 to the live. Yes, yes. Hello? Isn't this beautiful? Uh, hey, yes, it is. I love you, but I'm sure good sound. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is so nice and good. What's going on, going on? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. God is so good. God is good, baby. Yes. God got the first shout. Look. Y'all is crazy. Good Lord. 